Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. So today we are going to be building an airport in our city and there's a good reason why we're doing it today. So you remember uh, a while ago we were looking at this uh, roundabout here and the traffic. The traffic is backing up, backing up, backing up. And then we've got more traffic coming now because we've added other things over here. Yeah, even though we've got better routes that they can take. Darn you people. People, but yeah there's a lot of traffic and using the new tools that we have available to us or using some old tools and some new tools so if we use one of the old tools that's available to us here and look at our traffic routes uh, we can pick i'm going to just pick this segment here and that's going to show what all the people are doing and why we need an airport i noticed something very interesting uh, also using this mod let's actually pick a different road over here uh, i now have the transfer broker mod installed for real in t port if you didn't see my video on that uh, go and check that out fantastic new mod that changes how the game works i'd let you go and watch the video but one of the things it gives us is this it changes the guys to uh red or green if they're green they're not uh making the traffic worse if they're red they are and it helps because if we go back to say picking so hang on let me I'll tell you what let me show you this first so you can see look that all these cars are red all these cars are red and then as we sort of follow up here there's lots of red cars on the highway so even though they're not in a traffic jam they're going to be contributing to traffic and look, as we follow our highway going out, lots of red cars. And it's the same the other direction. And if we come back over here again, I've lost where we were. Here we are. And we'll just pick the segment of road here. And yeah, we can make some deductions using this information. So I'm going to leave all of this on. There's a whole ton of people. Again, if someone could write a mod that would give me some figures, that would be great. So you like click on a segment of road like this. And it would just maybe pop up how many were pedestrian, how many were cyclists, how many were trucks. But anyway, so if we use our eyeballs, we can see most of them are going straight on and coming up there. Oh, I haven't noticed that before. A lot of them are coming off and going on again. Oh, look, I hadn't noticed that in my preparation for the video. What I was going to say was, and also, you know, this is true too, is a lot of these people are coming from up here and this is their way onto the highway. It's through that roundabout. And then look, you can see big fat purple lines, all those people, private vehicles, just leaving the city. Look, and off they go. And then the same the other way, come up here and they leave the city. But where are they coming from? So that's where they're going. If we follow this road backwards, coming down here, and a lot of them are coming from over here. So they're coming in and then they're, you know, from over here coming in and then they want to leave via the highway but i hadn't just noticed that a lot of them are just going up and over which is a, a stupid thing to do well we can probably fix that quite quickly yeah look at that had not noticed that at all so it's 100 going through here but 120 going up there well if we just put that down to sort of I mean, 60. Straight away, some of these cars should change their mind and say, that's not as quick as I thought it was going to be. And then 80 joining into the hundreds, fine. And then that's 100 that's 80 yeah we'll leave all that like it is so i'm wondering now just with that one little change if we grab this uh, yeah we've still got the same segment segment selected <laughs> we've still got the same segment selected and i'm wondering how long it's going to take before that changes and more want to come down this way i'm just going to sort of keep it like that and we're going to just watch this for a moment Okay, I'll be honest, it's not changing as quick as I thought. There are still some that are going up and coming down again. So now I'm just wondering whether I'm forcing people to do that. Okay, so that is all the dedicated lanes going off. And then I stopped the changing there, which is fine. And then because it got so bad, uh, can I select that one? I want to select it, please. I saw it go blue. There we go. We're going to delete that one. We are going to delete this one because I tell you what, the traffic isn't going to be half as bad now I've made that change. Uh, and this gives them a dedicated lane there. And look, now they're all diving out and saying, do you know what? I've heard that this route is much better. <laughs> Instead of going up and over, that is good. So now if we go back to this tool again, we've still got the same road selected. Some are still doing it, but I'm watching. You can see, walk, jumpy game. You can see where they're coming from. If you look this sort of bit here, you can see which ones 
and maybe coming round the roundabout and going that way. There isn't any. There's no one coming down here and going that way. So there is still a few doing it. But maybe again, we need to just leave that for a minute and see whether more will change their minds. What we could do. Yeah, look, it's, get, it's definitely going down. What I'm going to do is select like this segment here. Uh, no, I selected a car. That one there. So there's still some that are doing it, but it's less than it was a moment ago. And look, you can see they're changing slowly. So I think over time that is definitely going to change and that would be a lot better. And that's going to help that traffic. Why don't we cut? Oh, already look, it's helped it. It's not backing up half as much, which means this can move. Silly little mistake like that. And it's caused all this traffic. And it's all almost like we've got an eye in the sky up here. Yes, Jimmy, I'm up here in the helicopter. There's like five of them. All the local news networks. The traffic was horrendous. But Mayor Biffers done it again. He's found one stupid mistake he made six months ago and he's fixed it. Excellent. Thank you, TNN reporter. Or should I say TEA reporter? Uh huh. Who knows what that is? Okay. Yeah, look, that's going down. That's going down. Excellent. Right. So, where's the airport going to go? <laughs> Let's get back to that. So, as you can see, we do have a cargo airport here, which has been working nicely. But over here, we've got this. Yeah, flat open space. We're going to get a lot of tourists coming into this area when we get around to finishing it off. And I think this flat open space here would be perfect for an airport or two on here. So I just want to sort of check the sizes and what we've got available to us. So we've got the normal sort of small airport which isn't too big. There we go. We can face it around that way. We can see how big that one is. And we've got the cargo airport. We've got the cargo airport hub. That's all the helicopter depot. So where's the other one? I think it's in this menu here. There it is. We've got the international airport and the metropolitan airport. Oh, wow, there's three. I didn't realize there's three airports. And there's this one as well. Ooh, okay. So can we do something with this and get all three of these like hooked up together somehow? I think that would be really interesting. Why don't we start with the largest one? Because that one we can just sort of place down. I'm just looking at where the... I, you know, I'm not an airport builder. I'm not a traffic planner. Um, I do get people asking me that actually, but no, I'm not a traffic planner or anything like that. I'm just looking where the runways are thinking what would be the best way to do it sort of in this spot here like that i'm just going to place it and let's go for it that'll be good so taking off that way you sort of get up over the mountain that way up over the beach and then people can do that thing where they stand down here like this <laughs> and wait for the plane to come in really low and go ah as the wind blows them yeah they can do that and then going off this way yeah that's not too bad is it they can sort of curve either way okay that will be good there and then what about the other two wow so we've got this one here an international airport as well so i think this one if i remember correctly has got uh metro let's go this way here metro under it yeah so it's got metro Double metro connections and a helicopter, of course. Yes, I'm remembering all this stuff. And then we've got our international airport, which is also pretty big. Okay, I'm thinking something like that. So we've got these, this runway here and this one here going at sort of a 45 degree angle-ish, sort of. Is that going to go in like that? And then we've got all of our roads at the front here, which could connect up and have sort of some sort of thing going on. And they're not all lined up. You know, they're not sort of all parallel to each other getting in each other's way the only thing we've got is these two here but i'm sure they'll work something out <laughs> when they're landing we've got an errant train here because i deleted the train line <laughs> so that's fine i think something like that i might just move that over a little bit and see if i can find some way of getting that perfectly lined up using roads and stuff i bet there's a way let me have a go i think you know we've got it the best that it's going to be i've got this worked out in the middle here that road going down i'm just looking at these boxes here six there six there and nine twelve and an extra one twelve i think that is perfect there's a like a millimeter difference between the gap between there and there and there but i can't quite just without messing oh, oh there we go a tiny tweak and now it's like a tiny tweak the other way oh it's like one pixel difference yeah i think the other way and i oh that was too many pixels i could be fiddling with that all day i think that is almost as good as it's going to get do you know what i think that's perfect it's a millimeter extra there but i don't mind that at all that's good so we've got those two we can have a nice area built in the middle here as well what else have we got and then we've got we've done that one we've done that one and then we've got 
got uh, the one down here. So this is like a small little airport. And then we've also got the local flying club as well, haven't we, somewhere around here. So we'll find that again in a minute. No, it's the helicopter depot. So how could this one fit in? That one's got to be put against a road. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is if we bring this out like that... I'm not sure that's going to be enough room. No, it's not enough room. I want that one to sort of butt up against this side here. So let's make a bit of space. Let's just grab our temporary road again. Is that going to be enough room? Yeah, there we go. Just like that. And we can't quite line them up exactly the same because of this little extra piece of road. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over like that and make it obviously not trying to line up so that looks in my mind a lot better than trying to almost line it up and it not be that not be quite there so you've got these two running that way that one running that way that to those two running that way and i think i mean it looks haphazard but i think once we've got this going that this is going to look great so over here we've got our train line that used to go to over there which then heads outside the map and i think this will be a perfect place to put a train station so i don't think we're going to end up keeping those thin roads like that obviously but we're going to do that for now and then we're going to match this up so if we come in like that and go here let's do it the other way instead there we go like that and then this one can wiggle around here and then we can easily put a bypass on here as well can't we so do you know actually now i'm looking at this i'm thinking we've got metro we've obviously got the planes we've got the train and we've got monorail right here why don't we use this the metro monorail train hub instead to connect all these things together i think that would probably work a lot better let's just pop that there and just remind ourselves what we've got so we've got two train lines where's the metro is that underground I got confused by this before, didn't I? <laughs> I don't want to get that wrong again. Uh, let's go to here. Yeah, so we could definitely add a metro from there to here to help people that are trying to get around the city. That would be great. And then, unfortunately, our monorail's on that side. But we could have a monorail connection to there. Oh, this could work out quite well. Let me just put all of these up. Okay, there we go. So now we can have people hop on the monorail, ride up to here, get the metro round up over to this section. The metro I haven't put in yet. So let's just quickly do that. Oh, there's one in here as well. Oh, that is fantastic. Um, I'm just going to sort of follow my, my nose here and just connect. Follow my nose. <laughs> What a funny saying. Just going to follow my whatever, and I'm going to just connect these up. Let's have a look. Not sort of too complicated, but just so they can literally get from one to the other. And then we can always hook this one up if we have another build in this area. But th this is literally going to be from getting people from one of these to the other and back again. And that is it. So if we can name that one, uh, not the tram. Here we go, Metro Line 2. So this is going to be Airport Shuttle. Excellent. We're going to change the color of that let's have a bit of light blue excellent and then over here yep this one we're gonna have monorails going from let's have a look create a new line so from there to there and then up here and then it's gotta come up this way into here or should we just have it stop there do you know what i'm wondering actually whether it's just a slightly change how i've got this set up yeah i'm gonna do that let's just right click and remove that i want this to actually go in a loop so i want that to just come back around here and just be one little local monorail that just runs people backwards and forwards i think that would be a lot better so let's just see if i can do that without making it look too weird yeah i might adjust how that looks in a bit but for now that will do so let's do that again so we go from create new line here to here then it's going to go up here and it's going to come back down and go to this one then it's going to go back again add stop and then here add stop and then complete the line yeah whoa there we go so that's just going to go around in the loop like that um, so that is number three. Just make sure that's the one. Yep. So that's going to be airport shuttle. 
as well. There we go. And they're all red. We'll change that one to that little bluey color that we had before or similar. Okay, so that hooks those up. Um, we've got our helicopter line here, which is very easy to hook into this one. I've had lots of people talking about the helicopters, how it's absolutely ridiculous. It's so backed up. And yes, you're quite correct. Uh, we, we just have our one loop that goes around our city and, uh, and it only goes one way. And I might set up some different lines at some point, but for now, which is what we've got. So I'm going to go from create a new line from there. Oh, no, hang on a sec. Can we get that to go to here? And then will it just turn around and come back again? Add stop. Nope. Why not? Okay, let's connect up the other side as well then. Maybe that's what we need to do. do, 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 do. Let's do that. That'll do. So let's try that again. Let's get rid of that one. So create new line from there. Yeah, it's flashing to there and back again. Oh, I wanted to use that. And then we have another one from there going into wherever else it can go in the city. Um, There, there's one. That's where they're all queuing up for. I think that is the only other one I've got in the city. I really need to add some more. Is there one down here somewhere? Oh, there's one there as well. Yep, 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 of course. And then it loops all the way around. Did I just miss one? Nope, it's just a corner. Am I sure? Yeah, just a corner. Then it comes down here, down here, and round back to this one. Yeah, so I'll have it go there. Oh, man, this is really going to add to the helicopter traffic. And then back up to here again. So we don't need this bit here. Look, let's get rid of that. Oh, carefully. Not delete. Oh, that's part of that. Okay, that's good. So that is all of that hooked up. So train, monorail, airport, helicopter. Uh, we've got like our ferry that's coming through here. Do we need to add that in as well? Could we have that come up here alongside and have a ferry, monorail, airport? So that would help people. I'm just thinking maybe who are taking the ferry from here that don't want to get the train. Why the flipping heck not? Let us see if we can do that as well. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that so it's the same and i want that to go at the same angle as this one so if it comes in say here so i'm gonna put it on anarchy for now just uh then it went up that doesn't seem quite straight to me i think that's about straight as it's gonna get and then i'm gonna use the move it mod to grab all the little zony things and just move it a bit closer yeah it's not quite straight is it so we'll get that one like that and then we'll hold alt and line those up with that one that's right up against there the monorail can go over the top so if we just delete those that one's okay there we'll use the picker picker whoops <laughs> we'll use the picker picker mod that's what i was trying to do uh let's go straight over to that's about as close as it'll get and then we'll do that as close as it'll get and then I'll, over the top yeah that's good i like that i like it a lot and then it's just basically our ferry route, isn't it? Oh, it's already got it drawn in there. So if we get our stop, mm -hmm, ship path, ferry pathway. Oh, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. Ferry, whatever it was called. Ferry line. And then we can have that one. Oh, we haven't put in a thing, have we? Bone it. Let's have a look. So it's going to have to go on a road. Oh, darn it. Maybe the uh, a bit further away would have been better. Let me just manoeuvre this a bit. That's just big, isn't it? That is just like so big. It overhangs the whole thing. And there's no way of getting that in there. I think it's going to have to be a small one like that, isn't it? Shame we can't put it on the end. That would have been good. Oh, well, actually, I'm just thinking. I think it needs to fill up with water first for these things to snap properly. So let's do that and hope we haven't flooded everything. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be fan flipping tastic, I tell you. Helicopters are coming in already. This is filling up. Let's just see what difference that makes. Now we've got some water there. It seems to me like it's not snapping correctly. But the road should go up against there and that should stick out a bit. Like that. No, not that one. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just place the darn thing and then I'm going to use the move it mod. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm expecting it to do. No! The people on the monorail. We're fine. We're fine. It's all okay. I mean, it's going to be tight for moving around and fitting everything in here. But I think we're going to be okay. We're going to go with the flow, as they say. So let's grab that one. Oh yeah, it's stopping out there, isn't it? And it's going to turn around and go through that. It's going to look a bit rubbish, isn't it? I just think what it is, is this needs to go even further over. Oh man, cue more flooding. Okay, let's pull that one in again. Come on in. Thank you. So it's going to go down. What is it doing? It's going down. And it's coming up there and also going around there. I don't know what it's doing. I'm hoping that's going to look okay and that will fit in all right. I don't see why not. 
I'm hoping that's going to fit under there. Is there one coming along that we can uh, we can have a look at? Any ferries anywhere? No, it's been a while. Oh, this one. I what is with the flooding? It was fine. Everything was okay. Our brand new multi-million airport complex. Oh, it's all rushing through the doors. Everybody's really unhappy. Okay. And what I was thinking as well, actually, while we're waiting for that guy to come back, is I want the, it to stop in there on the other way as well. So that way. Both ways. There we go. Right. Let's hang around and wait. Here he comes. Here he comes. You are going to be the first guy to go under here and not hit the monorail bridge. Oh, my goodness me. That is so tight. Do you know what? It's fine. It's an optical illusion that the lights are hitting that. It's no problem. And how does it look when it turns around? So he's like, got to spin it round first. Do you know what? That isn't too bad. Do you know what I can actually do? I think if we get our ferry pathway, do that and then use the move it mod. Can I move that down? It doesn't look like it. Can I go like that? Oh, I was hoping I could can I delete that. No. And if I make that longer, just this section here, I don't think it's going to make any difference to where that is. Oh, what's he doing now? What's he doing? Now he's going around again to leave. I'm not sure on the hawky balkiness there. If there's a way of fixing that, we'll have a look and see what we can do. Okay, so now we just need to connect all of these roads up somewhere and see how that goes. This 84% traffic. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, let's see. Our little ferry way here is going to get nothing too complicated. We're literally going to get a... It's not going to do. I'm going to move this down just out of the way like that for now. We might end up moving it back. I want that coming out at like 45 degrees. And then I want that connecting up to that. And then I'm going to use the touch it mod to touch that and then to change it there we go it just unlocks the road excellent so that's the way in and out there not sure how busy that's going to be we shall see so i'm going to pop give way on there lane uh oh, come back lane mathematics on the end or dedicated turning lanes i just can't leave a road like that without it so we'll go like that there we go still got give way yep that's fine so that's that connected up to there um and then we're going to need walking paths so what roads are we going to use down here i feel like we need to use something that looks a bit sort of efficient sure something you've got to be careful with you've got like this painted median you've all got to slow down a bit all sorts of stuff like that uh, whether this road's still going to carry on down here i don't know but we'll do it for now there we go and then what road have we got in front here so i think we could just use the touch it mod on these as well if we do that there we go and then do this yeah so in my mind it just sort of adds a little bit of you know if i was walking out of here I saw this. It's like you've got to be really careful. Watch where you're walking. All that sort of stuff. And then we're going to connect it up to this one. So I'm actually going to use the same road. Uh, I'm going to delete that last segment and then connect that straight in. Oh, look at that. Uh, I am going to change that bit. Yeah. And that bit. I don't know how busy this is going to get. And that bit. So you've got all the lanes you need. And then we'll do that. Nice. And then that's going to come up here and i think i'm actually going to do the same here with the roads as well so let's get that be careful not to unlock the wrong thing in case it blows my game up or something this last bit here is going to be that and then i want where's it gone this one here yeah so we do that 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 i've got a little car park here which is nice i do like that I'm going to change that one and that one. There we go. That fits in nicely. And then we'll have some giveaway signs on the end here. I may change this to being a one-way system. In fact, you know, I am. I'm going to just completely change that now to a one-way system. So let's just take this one with the grass. And it's going to go this way. Whoops. All the way around. <laughs> Which puts it the wrong way. Put it the way that makes sense with the road that's next to it. <laughs> There we go. So now we've got two lanes going round and two lanes. That goes to two lanes there. That goes to two lanes there. So what we need in the middle is one of these. So we change that. We've got two lanes in both directions then. One lane that spreads into two, which goes into two up here. And then these two go into two, which stay to two, which go to two. Yeah. Do you know what? We could just do that all the way down. That'd be fine. There we go. And then the idea is, is they don't go around a second time. You know, you miss dropping off that person. You've missed your chance. And then you just go around, go into the car park and enjoy yourself. 
uh, that is it. We're going to do dedicated turning lanes there. There we go. This road's going to come up here, and we're going to have some more dedicated turning lanes there, there, and there. So we'll turn that round, turn that round. We'll go bish bash, bosh, like that. That one's going to be giveaway. Don't know where that one's going to go. That comes around here. Don't know where this one's going to go. I wonder whether we could join this up over here somewhere. Because this is all getting super busy. They're all complaining about water, aren't they? Yeah, we are going to... So once you get past this sort of section, it then just turns back to a normal road. But still not too quick. We could go with like a tree-lined road. Yeah, why not? And that's going to come out to here. Yeah, let's try and line it up with this. Why not? But yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? That looks good. And then... Do you know what? I keep trying to have little, little junctions with my trains. Because I do like them. And then three episodes later, we remove them again. Let's give this one another go. Uh, I'm actually going to make that go straight into there. And then when it comes out the other side, we'll do the curve. So it's got a little crossing there. I do like, I just like the detail. I like the detail. And I like the way that runs along the side. And then this here. So they've got that junction above. Could I then have this junction under there? Let's just change this a bit. That's going to come out. Wait. Hey, excuse me. Is it not going to like it because we've got that monorail thing up there? I think that might be the case. Let's try that. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, move it mod, make it the same height as that. Something's not liking something. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Let's turn off the move it mod, get that road. How does that look? It's because it's alongside it, then suddenly it's not alongside it anymore, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like the way that's gone. Let's see if we can just get that to go straight into here instead. No, it's not good as that junction. It counts as a junction, which is weird, on the road, even though it's not a road junction. Can we do something with the node controller? No road marking. So we can take that out, but there's like we can't connect that up. Make flat, make slope. Nothing's going to make any difference there. Uh, let's just... It's gone a bit wonky, isn't it? Let's just do that. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to sort of bring that over and connect that somewhere else instead. What have I done? <laughs> I've messed this one up. All right, we got there in the end. For no reason at all, I'm just going to run it alongside this road. And it's going to come in down here. Uh, nice and away from everywhere else. We've got some dedicated turning lanes. Just need to do these giveaway. And the dedicated turning lanes going in. Yeah, I think that looks okay. We can put some detail along there. Oh, lots of detailing we've got to do, haven't we? Lots of detailing. Okay, so that's connected to there. Then it loops all the way around, connects up this one here. We've got some space for some building over there. Let me just put some water pipes in so everybody stops complaining. Uh, we've done that. We've done it. We haven't done a train stop. Let's just do that before I forget. So we've got the bypass. Well, it's not really a bypass anymore, is it? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the stops on this one, and then hopefully any other trains will just sort of go around if they don't need to stop here. That's probably not going to do that. <laughs> Unless I change the speed. Can I? Let's just get rid of that. I can change the speed. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slow down to, say, 80. This segment here, all the way through to the end. But this one's unlimited. So I'm hoping, let's just see the next one that comes along. Anybody coming along that they're going to take this out? outside one which we're going to leave you know it's going to remain unused okay so i've added a train stop here that goes from this station all the way to our main station hub over here in the heart of our city um i've set that one up as being called our airport shuttle there it is that blue one there and uh, let's just check What's that going to have? Two vehicles. We need to keep an eye on that. I think that's going to get pretty busy. Um, and now what's happening is we have changed the speed on these lines. So if we go into our speed, this outside one is unlimited. Uh, that bit there is unlimited for some reason. There we go. So look, anybody doesn't need to stop. They don't need to stop. Cargo definitely doesn't need to stop. They're going to take this outside line. That's going to remain unused. And then anybody coming in wanting to stop over here. Uh, what's going on? Oh, they're just slowing down. Anyone wants to stop over here, they will take this line, which is great. I don't know why they stopped. I've set up the pause, uh, the pause, the give way. So the passenger trains give way. There we go. Look, that's my blue line. And he just keeps going. Yeah, because they sort of cross over onto the other side. And I've done the same here as well. So anybody coming out the station has to give way to everybody else coming through. Fantastic. That has worked well. And we've already got planes coming in and out. Helicopters flying around. 
this is getting really, really busy. There's one more thing I want to add into here. There we go. I found it. The Aviation Club offers local aviation hobbyists and small plane owners a place to do recreational flying within the city limits. So I'm thinking we want to sort of keep it away from this area there. Planes are going to be flying away here. What could we Oh, it's a shame it can't just squeeze in there because then they could head out and go that way. Maybe. Oh, it's never going to. Yeah, we can't even move that road away, can we, to fit it in? Hmm. What about along this road here? If we just set it back a little bit, it's near the airport, but far enough away that they could call over to the tower but still have a bit of space to do it. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. Let's just run a little road off the back here. So we're going to take. Yeah, let's just take a small road. We're going to take this one here and i'm going to sort of head that up there and head that in there that should be give way that should be give way and then if we take that and pop it here in the middle yeah i'm gonna flatten that out a bit first let's get our flattenny flattenny tool that's this one brush size a bit bigger we'll take that size just to give it a little bit more space and then we'll do that zip excellent and that's going to go here Ooh, obviously needed a tiny bit more flattening let's grab that height take that back a bit yeah that's okay like that we'll get rid of some of those trees and we'll do that we'll leave these trees down here but we'll get rid of some of those around there and we've also got some trees to get rid of down there these ones are okay they'll pop over the top <laughs> why is it left a little <laughs> a little bit i've got the hide it mod should get rid of those Oh, something weird's going on there. And then these I'm going to trim. Oh, great. <laughs> Another mod that's playing up. Yeah, we'll check that one out. And I don't think we've got any other trees around here at all. So I'm liking, I'm liking the look of this. I'm liking the start of this. Wow. So much more stuff we can do for sure. I feel like we need a big car park in the middle here. Hmm, what do you reckon? What sort of details would you like to see around here? Let me know in the comments below.
Oh, we mustn't forget we were going to check out the traffic over here, weren't we? Where we made our changes. And there we go. Look at that. Not backing up half as much as it was before. So that's definitely going to be a combination of me setting this thing up correctly and giving them all extra options to get around a bit easier in our city, which is always a good thing to do. Well, I'm really pleased with the way this has turned out. And I hope you like it as well. There's so much more detailing to do. Don't worry. I've got loads of things to add. Add. so yeah i'll be checking all the comments for those let me know what you think uh be sure to subscribe before you go as well so you don't miss out on all the other fantastic city skyline content coming your way and i will see you all soon have a fantastic day take care everybody Bye bye